Hello, my name is Jenny. I'm going to show you the circuits experiment from lesson 10 of the energy science unit from the good and the beautiful. For this experiment, we are going to be using copper wire, four pieces, about six to 12 inches long, two E10 flashlight bulbs, two E10 bulb holders, electrical tape, a screwdriver, and two AA batteries. I'm going to start by taking one of my pieces of copper wire and taping it to the negative end of this AA battery. Then I connect the other end of this wire to one of the terminals of this E10 bulb holder. You may need to loosen the screw on the terminal to get the wire around and then retighten it to secure the wire. Now let's take another piece of wire and attach it to the other terminal on our bulb holder. Before we complete the circuit, let's screw in one of our bulbs. All right, let's see if our circuit works. Touch the end of your loose wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Look, our circuit worked. Now let's add another light bulb to our circuit. Let's attach our loose wire end here to the terminal on the bulb holder. Now we can attach another piece of wire to the other terminal and then touch the loose end of the positive terminal of our battery again. What happens to the lights? Are they brighter or dimmer? Let's try unscrewing one of the bulbs. What happens now? When this bulb is unscrewed, there is no way to complete our circuit. Now, let's see if adding another battery to our circuit makes the lights brighter. I'm going to place the negative end of this battery against the positive end of our current battery. Now let's touch our loose wire to the positive end of our new battery. What do you think? Is the light brighter or dimmer with two batteries? Let's try creating a parallel circuit now. We're going to connect our battery to just one of the lights, like we did in the beginning. Then we will attach this light bulb holder to another one using two pieces of wire. If you would like, you can twist your two pieces of wire together to aid the flow of electricity. Attach the middle of your twisted wire to the first light bulb holder and then attach the ends to the second light bulb holder. All right, we're ready to touch our loose wire to the positive end of our battery. What happens? Both of our light bulbs turned on. Let's find out what happens in a parallel circuit when we unscrew one of the light bulbs. See how the other bulb stays on this time? Which of our three circuits was the brightest? By using a parallel circuit, we are able to use less energy to achieve an equal or greater amount of light from the two light bulbs because there is no resistance between the two bulbs. Another benefit of parallel circuits is that if something goes wrong with one of the wires or bulbs, the rest of the circuit can still function because the circuit is still complete there's an alternate route through which the energy can flow.